Alex Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. I'm Dan. I'm Mike. Dan, it's a bottled beer in a can. What are we drinking? Since 1989, Michael. Oh. Uh, this is Keystone Light. Cool. Okay. Uh, so yeah, introduced in 1989 with the tagline, bottled beer in a can. Or bottled beer taste in a can, oh, okay. rather. Uh, so yeah, this is brewed... Uh, <clears throat> By the Coors Brewing Company, and they own a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Uh, out of Golden, Colorado. <laughs> store. Uh, so, yeah. Keystone Light. I mean, this is like keg parties, beer pong. Oh, yeah. Like, everything. I don't even the think they make regular Keystone anymore. Uh, it's just light. So, th this can is actually, uh, it's like camouflage, like uh, real tree. That's about that time. Collab with real tree. So, 24 fluid ounces. Uh... That's all the information we no, have on it. Just make it so tiny. I think it's four point one ABV. Yeah, four point one ABV. Calories in this can or or per serving is so there's two servings in here. Hundred and one. <laughs> just one serving. God. Yeah. Just, Whatever. I don't give a fuck. It's Keystone Light. There's two servings in this can. Oh, I better only drink half and then put the rest <laughs> in the fridge for tomorrow. Jeez. There Save me a serving, Dan. <laughs> God. We're doing this beer to service drinking it in glasses. Like, yeah, what are we pretty, doing? No, because in beer pong, we need a, a pong ball yeah, right yeah. here. Yeah. A red solo cup. We're idiots. Either way, we're still doing the spirit of service. Uh, that is golden straw colored, super clear, see through, carbonation bubbles rising. Yeah. Uh, a little bot of fingers worth of. Uh, Head's kind of dissipating. Bright just, white, foamy head. It It looks like a bowling alley beer. Yeah, it looks like beer. That's what yeah. it is. Pretty much. Yeah, and it smells. Oh, it smells so good. So it it smells sweet. There's a definite uh, apparent sweetness to it. Yeah, that you get from the majority of your macro lagers and pills. I'm not getting it right now, but maybe I am. Back in the day, I re I remember we used to go through thirty racks. We'd go to the store about like three thirty racks at a time, so we'd have beer pong beer and stuff. Yeah, and this stuff is water. I used to say. The way they used to brew this, it was like apples. All I smelled was like Oh, yeah, apples. yeah, okay. Nope. I, I, I've i had that aroma. Now it's more of a corn, corn. thing. It, it's a it's a sweet cereal corn. Yeah. Oh. It smells like beer, bro. It does. Cheers. I just want to make sure I tasted it properly. It's delicious. <laughs> I love Keystone. So, so here's the thing. It, it is very, it's light, it's crisp. Yep. The sweetness is apparent throughout the palate. Mm -hmm. um, carbonation, it's moderately carved. Yeah, absolutely. Although on the back end, it's it's got that, that the, the barley kind of rears its head. Okay. For, for some reason right now, this one, it's almost getting that Budweiser after effect. You know how Budweiser has that distinct yeah, taste? Yeah, yeah. I've had a Bud in so long, but... Yeah, I, it, it is. I like the sweet, uh, and you said it before, the little apple-y note to it. It's just a crisp, yeah. just refreshing, just pulled the apple off a tree. The, it doesn't finish clean compared to some other light macros. Okay. Like your Jenny Lights, I think the Jenny Light finish is a lot cleaner. Okay. Um, Coors Light, definitely a lot cleaner. Coors Light, yeah. Coors Light, I mean, that's like water. In a that's it even it goes water down. In this. It's. Um, I mean, I know we're like, we're dissecting a light shelf store beer, but like, it 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 does have these notes when you when you think about it, and I think that's what makes it just delicious and good, and like, you want to put back a big deuce of it. Uh, I don't know. What do you rate it? I mean, as far as uh, summertime, outside grilling, mowing the lawn, getting your racket balls and your pickle Ugh. balls and your pumpkin balls all set up to play, it's, I don't know. For what it is, it's a friggin' five all day. It's, oh, it's, it's shit. delicious. Because this, this is rated on a different scale. This is a... Okay, a well, I'm rated on the lager. scale of other macro light beers. I'll give this like a 3.5. Yeah, I can't give it a 5 because PBR is, that's the reigning champ. Uh, I'll, I'll give it a... I PBR mean, is not light beer, though. No, it's not. PBR light is disgusting. I haven't had it. Oh I haven't my had gosh, it. it's horrific. Did you know they make a high-gravity PBR? 
Yes. And I've not had it, but I want to. That, that's on my bucket list of, like, I want the 40-ounce yeah. PBR bottle. Uh, anyway, no, it's it's a freaking four. Uh, okay, if, if I'm reaching for the macros of light, we're from the Rochester area. I would pick Jenny. Yeah. Just because it's dirt cheap. Uh, I don't know. If I'm at some place that doesn't have Jenny, I'd probably, I think I'd go with, like, Miller Light or something over this. I like but, Miller Light. I, I like Keystone Light. It, it's just go But th- this is just a party beer to me. It's so good. But whatever. Yeah. All right, gang. Until next time. Uh, what do you think of Keystone? Does it bring back fond memories of being blacked out drunk and waking <laughs> up behind some shed? Uh, let us know. <laughs> it's the Dodge Compound. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Superstar, baby. <laughs>